Before we dive into chapter 14, just a quick reminder, last week we covered John chapter 13, which was the beginning of the Last Supper in the upper room. And if you look at this from a, from a big perspective, from a bird's eye view, you have 13 and 14 in the upper room, then at the end of 14 he tells them, arise, let us go hence. Now they start walking through the city and then up the Kidron Valley as he discourses to them on various subjects. In verse chapters 15 and 16, you get to the top of the Kidron Valley, and before entering into Gethsemane, he pauses there in chapter 17 and gives the great high priestly or intercessory prayer in chapter 17. What I wanted to point out here is if you do some simple math and count this up, you have 13 through 17, five chapters all take place within a few hours of time in a 33-year 33 33 life of the Savior Jesus Christ. Five chapters out of John's total 21. We're, we're right in the neighborhood of one-fourth of his entire gospel, of everything John, who is in the Savior's inner circle, everything he could have taught us, he's putting significant emphasis on this few hours of experience with Jesus right before going into Gethsemane. And then if you add chapter 18, which is John's account of Gethsemane, and 19, his account of the, the trials and, and the crucifixion of Christ, if you add that to the mix, you're adding a few more hours of time now you're at seven out of 21 of John's chapters. That's one-third of the entire Gospel of John is taken up from the evening of Thursday when he goes into the Last Supper through early in the morning on Friday of the crucifixion, uh, just over a 12-hour uh, segment of Jesus' life, and we've got one-third of the time spent. So, I only pointed that out because I think we're going to see as we dive in that some of the greatest truths, some of the biggest theology that Jesus is going to share in his ministry comes at such a critical time when he's literally moments away from beginning his infinite uh, atoning sacrifice, beginning in Gethsemane.